Hey guys, I'm showing you how to do this simple dog bone wreath to give to a special dog owner. And the thing with this wreath is that we didn't use any glue or tape on the actual cookies, so you can just untie the ribbon or snip it up and then you can give all of the bones to your dogs. For this wreath, I just used regular milk bone dog cookies that I bought from a store, but you are also able to just make your own. These ones I made are peanut butter pumpkin, and actually there's a really good recipe that my sister made their gingerbread dog cookies and I don't have anything any of them to show you because my dogs gobbled them up um, but I'll put a link to the video where she shows how to make them and the recipe so you guys can create them yourself because the dogs absolutely love them so with this wreath we just used ribbon to keep all of these bones in place and underneath I just used the lid of a shoe box or a boot box that I had and yeah, just a whole bunch of ribbon. And I made a little tie here so you can actually hang it or hold it, although it'll absolutely drive your dogs crazy if you're gonna hang it up on the wall. Already now, both dogs are right here looking at this. She's sitting on the chair looking at it. But it's a really cute and inexpensive do-it-yourself gift to give to either a dog owner or to the dog themselves. My sister and I, we exchange gifts for her two dogs and then my two dogs. Um, so definitely I would give this to her two dogs. Oh wait, so now I'm going to show you how to go. Things you will need include a piece of cardboard, dog bone cookies, pieces of ribbon, scissors, tape, and either freehand drawing a circle or I'm gonna use a bowl. After a failed attempt to draw a freehand circle, I am now tracing the edge of a bowl. Then use your scissors to cut it out. Then use a smaller bowl to trace or freehand a smaller inner circle, making sure the wreath is about one and a half inches wide. Then cut it out. Then take your ribbon and tape it to the cardboard and start wrapping it around the circle. If you do it tightly, you shouldn't need to use any tape or glue, but just in case, you can put a small hidden piece of tape holding the ribbon to the circle before you wrap the next layer on it. Once the whole wreath is covered, we're going to take our dog bones and our second roll of ribbon. Tape the piece of ribbon to the back of the wreath. Then position a dog cookie on the front of the wreath and wrap the ribbon around it. Keep going until you have cookies all around. Once you get to the end, wrap the ribbon around a couple extra times and then cut the ribbon and tape it to the back with some extra ribbon sticking up to form a loop. You can then tie a bow onto the loop if you want. And there you have it, your dog cookie wreath. So that is it and I definitely recommend giving this a try. It is just so simple and really cute and no doubt delicious. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.